You got 52 of the best anglers in the world out here idling around in a big circle. We're all wanting to win. Everyone wants to win. But what separates us? It's a little thing called confidence and game plan and the way to prepare to victory and the way to prepare to win is preparation. I feel like I've put a lot of work in on this one. Let's get it started. They're right where they were the other day. What's up guys? Day three, Forestwood Cup. That's right, I'm in the finals. Fifth place, got my family here, big support. We're I'm excited. so excited, so excited. Yay. Got live cameras, got Chris Jones back here in the back. Thank We've got you. the crew. Woo! Oh yeah. Oh yeah, day three, baby. I've got a chance to pull off history. You know, fishing's all about great stories and it would not be a better story than today pulling off the second victory here in Hot Springs with this great crowd. Yay! There you go, B. All right, guys, this video is going to be awesome. Ready? Good luck, Scott. Good luck. Do good today. <laughs> oh, great. good luck, Scott. Get him today. Good luck, Scott. Get him today. You got this. Good luck, Scott. Go get him today. Good luck, Scott. Go get him today. Hey, Scott. Uh, uh, hold on. Chuck, cut. cut. Hey, go get him, Scott Martin. Yeah. Good job. Come on, Scott. You got this. Be the first one to win the double cup. I know you can do it if you can just catch some quality fish. Good luck. Perfect. Perfect. Scott, come on, man. It's Sunday. It's day three of the cop, dude. We worked all year for this. What are you going to do with it? Come on, man. It's like easy like Sunday morning. No, I'm not going to sing to you because I'm mesmerizing. I need you focused. Catch on. All right, guys. <laughs> Pretty amazing crowd here. What an opportunity for me to pull off something special today. If you saw the practice video, you, you know what I'm on. If you watched the tournament video, you saw how many big fish are in the area. Today, it could happen. It could happen. Now, I've got nine guys, these guys right down here, that are pretty amazing fishermen. These guys, right here. these guys are bringing their A game, too. I just need to bring my A++ game. opportunity day three of forcewood cup final day here's what i need you to do guys start praying let's get it going putting on a little weight bait this morning i had not tried it yet but dead calm like this it could be good oh yeah oh, hello darling oh come on baby Get it. Get it. Oh. Oh. Striper. Striper. I can see him on the panoptics running up to it. There'll be bass mixed in. Oh, he's underneath it. 
God dang! Ah! Well, I'm still sitting on zero, but I knew it was gonna be tough. I'm a little behind schedule, but the water just started moving. Water temperature's dropping. We fished here earlier this morning. It was 78 degrees, now it's 60. So it'll, it'll eventually put these fish in position. I saw one yesterday cruising down the bank and it had a really funky tail. And I fished for it for a minute, it wouldn't bite. And about 100 yards down, I saw one up on a seawall and threw over there and caught it, and it was that same fish because it had that really distinct tail. So they just cruise up and down this grass line back and forth. When they decide to move up there on that seawall and feed or slide up under a dock, you catch them. You should be able to catch them on this hydrilla, but I haven't, I haven't got bit in it, but I hadn't really tried it a lot either. Just a little one. It's a keeper. At least get to walk up on stage with a fish in my bag. Now, we're gonna have to get rid of that one, but we're gonna put him over here on the little side. But maybe that's the indicator right there. That's when things start happening right about now. I just had one on. I don't know what it was. Could have been a pike. Could have been a bass. There has been a big bass hanging around right here. There's a six pounder swimming in the water right here. It's a big one, dude. It's a pike. Dang. Whatever. I know this is boring, but it's one of those things where it's like, you just gotta stay patient. You end up getting the bites by the end of the day, but it's a lot of in between. Wrong size, but at least it's a bite. I don't know what he was gonna do with this thing. Number two. Little side. But they're eating it. Let me tell you something, dude. I'm gonna catch a giant one. I'm gonna catch a giant one. I'm gonna catch a giant one. I'm gonna catch a big giant one in a minute, I'm telling you. So guys, I'm just gonna keep this swim bait in my hand for a little bit. I mean I feel like I feel like if there's a big one down there, it's gonna come up and eat it. These small ones are chewing on it today. It's the right day for the swim bait. Just gotta get around one of these three or four pounders. I've seen some big ones doing this. Got three babies. They aren't gonna do anything at this point, except a little pride. I'll take what they give me. You know, my, my theory right now is just get some big bites. With what I've seen here, you can have you could win the tournament and not have a limit if you caught three or four of those real big ones. So I need, you know, my goal today is 20 pounds, believe it or not. 
no other place means anything to me, second or anything. So I need a big bag. Oh, it's a big one, dude. Oh, gosh. Okay. That was a fight. Thanks, P-Line. That's scary. Okay. All right. Not a real big one, but a heck of a fight. We'll put him on the big side. All right. That was stressful, but fun. It's a little one, I had him in the back, but it gives me a limit. I thought it was a giant, dude, I had him stuck in the back. <laughs> That's my limit, guys. Uh, uh, it feels good, I have to say. Thank you, Lord, I just did a prayer, actually. A silent prayer that I'd catch a fish right here. And I did, so thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I got him. Oh my gosh, it was a fall guy. I just had a big one, dude. Just had like a three and a half. I had him on. Oh. Get big and dude. There's more there, they're hitting the crap out of it. Just running out of time, guys. 
<clears throat> we gotta go. Oh, it gave me a pound, over a pound. I mean, I've been throwing back 12 inches. Well, guys, we are in, as you can tell. We made it with about a minute to spare. Uh, you saw what happened. Kind of interesting, the last little 30, 40 minutes of the day. Wish I had an extra 30 minutes, but that's the way it goes. Been an interesting 2020. I got a lot to talk about, but um, I think it's tough for everybody. I haven't heard of anybody catching a big bag. I mean, I'm not going to win the tournament. That, that does stink really bad, but nevertheless, it's a good day. Maybe I'll move up where it is. From Clueston, Florida, will you welcome to the stage Scott Martin? One of the greatest resumes in professional bass fishing, trying to make history here in Hot Springs. It would be the first two time FLW Cup champion in the history of the tour. Again, this is the 24th FLW Cup, and a guy who, when you won your first one, you did it right here in Hot Springs, Arkansas. His resume has won over $3 million with FLW. He has the most wins on the FLW Tour, eight wins, 45 top tens. He's an 18-time FLW Cup qualifier, and he catches them all over the country, everywhere we go. Former Angler of the Year, Scott Martin. Let's hear it for Scott Martin. All right, Scotty, here we go, man. On day one, you weighed in 11 pounds, nine ounces. Yesterday, 11 pounds and one ounce had you in fifth place with 22 pounds, 10 ounces. We got to watch you on FOW Live today. We know you got some fish. So here we go to take out Minnesota's Austin Felix. You need seven pounds, 12 ounces. Here we go. He's approaching one million subscribers in his social media. The Scott Martin Challenge, it's the real deal. Fish number one is solid. It's the, the best first fish that we've seen so far. Fish number one's a good one. Number two, two good ones in a row. Looking for 712. Put yourself in contention to win your second FLW Cup, both right here in Hot Springs. Looking for number three. Number three is a good one. Pull them out together if you've got them, Scott. Well, you know, I've been throwing a big swim bait, a big giant swim bait, and I started doing that this afternoon, and some fish started showing up a little bit, so I started catching some little bit better ones. Oh, there we go. Number four, I like it. I love the tease, man. Let's see the kicker. Well, yesterday I threw this big glide bait. It's about a 10 inch glide bait. And I threw it up by this big tree and this giant bass came out and shadowed it and it went down deep. And I said, I'm gonna come back and get you tomorrow. So I pulled up there with about 10 minutes to go today. Made a long cast. Big swim bait now, I'm telling you. And this bit. <laughs> All right, man, put him in there. We're going to wait. <laughs> that has never happened to me, ever. I've been doing this since 2002. That's the first for me, man. Scott Martin, a five-bass limit. You needed 712 for the lead. 
you will take the lead. Eight pounds, eight ounces, the new leader. <laughs> Looking for five pounds, 12 ounces. That's a wrap. Look at this. Look at this. Look at that's who won right there. Good job, dude. He deserved it. He, we, he just fished good this week. He always fishes good, right? I think I finished fifth. Thanks so much for all the support, guys. I'm gonna go hang out with my family. I'm gonna go take a nap. I'm gonna go eat dinner. We're gonna work on some videos for you guys. Love you. We'll see ya. Bam.